Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Paral Dabulkar. In this video, we will see exception handling in Apex programming language. Now, what do you mean by exception? Exception is an event which occurs during the execution of program that disturbs the normal flow of program's instruction. That means when we are executing any program, when we are running any code, so at runtime, some event is generated. And because of that event, normal execution of that program is stopped or it gets halted or it gets affected. That is called an exception. In this video, we will see different types of exception that will get arises in Apex. Now see. So here I have opened developer console. Now see, I am writing some code. So I am taking one variable result is equal to suppose i am taking 10 divided by 2 now see and i am printing this result so system dot debug and here i am printing result so in single quote i am writing result is equal to plus for concatenation and that variable name semicolon now see if i run this debug only so here we got output right 5.0 that output we got now see so see we got output in the sense syntactically this program is correct there is no any error now see instead of 2 if i make it 0 now i am dividing 10 by 0 now see what will happen we will check so it is showing divide by 0 that is not possible right so it is math exception and what type of math exception that we got it is divided by 0 right so at runtime syntactically there was no issue syntactically program was correct but at runtime as it is divided by 0 right as it was divided by 0 because of that we got exception one event is generated and because of that event our normal execution of program got halted or stopped and that is called an exception and here this type of exception is math exception and here reason is divided by 0 right so this is our math exception so here i am writing this is math exception okay now we'll see another type of exception this is table name student underscore underscore c i am creating one record is equal to new student underscore underscore c now see so in round bracket we give values values for fields right so that record values here inside this round bracket we mention suppose here we are not mentioning any value that means empty record we are entering into the table right now see sometimes for some tables for some objects there are compulsory fields right compulsory fields that should be entered remaining things you can keep empty but compulsory fields should be there should be some value for that but here we are entering empty record right now see if if i enter this record let us see what will happen so what i will do i will select this and i will click on execute highlighted now see we got some exception right dml exception insert fill right first exception on row 0 required field missing right that means whatever the required fields are there for that values are not there required fields are missing and because of that we got exception and what is the type of exception dml exception right it is the dml exception so here i am writing this is dml exception okay we will see one more type of exception i am taking one string str now see here we are not allocating any value and when we are not allocating any value so that value is null right null value is allocated to that particular variable now see here what we will do we will perform some operation on this string let us see system dot debug i am printing something and what i am printing str dot to lower case this function i am calling so what is the use of this function whatever the string is there so it will convert to lowercase and that should get printed on the screen right now see 
I am selecting this and we will execute. So see here we got exception attempt to dereference a null object right and what is the type of exception null pointer exception and why we got this exception because see for string for string variable we have not allocated any value and we are trying to perform some operations on that right which was not possible so that's why we got exception null pointer exception right so here i am mentioning null pointer exception null pointer exception likewise now see if we want we can throw exception so all these exceptions are generated automatically right those are generated automatically those are generated by the cell force now what we will do if we want to throw any exception manually so that also we can do and for that purpose we can use keyword throw so here i am writing throw new null pointer exception okay so i am selecting this and i am clicking on execute highlighted so here you can see null pointer exception because we are throwing null pointer exception right here one more thing it is written script thrown exception that means we have manually we are throwing that exception we have written some code and by that code we are throwing this exception it is script thrown exception manually this exception is thrown right okay so in this way we can throw exception in this case exceptions are thrown by cell force right now see what are the different types of exceptions in apex programming language so see on google if you search cell force exception classes so you will get this first link exception class and built-in exceptions if you open this so see here you can find all types of exception that can be thrown in cell force so assert exception aura exception aura handle exception big object exception call out exception like this so all these are the different types of exceptions in next video, we will see how to use keywords try, throw, finally in Apex programming language. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.